Hi. Hi. I'm uh, looking for Yes, of course. Yes. Come in. Um, I'm Hi, sorry yes. to have to ask you this, but could you give us a moment? Carly can stay. What? I have no secrets from her. Fine. Okay. I just thought that I should tell you that that little alibi you coerced from Katie is about to be blown away. I'm shocked Katie said I coerced her. No, she didn't say that. Her husband did. Oh, him? Well, he's lying. Oh, just stop it, Craig. This is about our sister. If I'm gonna be accused of a crime that I didn't commit, then I have she to She loves Brad, and for some reason known only to God above, she still loves you, and this is really tearing her apart. So you've come here to arrest me? No, there haven't been any warrants issued yet. This is more of a courtesy call. Oh. You came here to warn me, no, so I'll actually, be prepared. No, this is more of a test, really, Craig. This is a test, because for some reason, Katie has really been championing you and telling me that you have changed. And I just think, you know, unless you come forward and get Katie off the hook, you're going to be responsible for putting our sister in legal jeopardy and maybe even destroying her marriage. I see. That's it? Well, if you think of anything else you might want to say to me, just come on down to the station. Thank you. Sure. Okay. Glad you decided to come in. You're doing the right thing. So it looks like you guys are on the same page. Should we just take the statements together? Yes, I would love that. Okay, great. Sit down. Have a seat. Hey. No, oh, sit, sit. More problems with Craig, huh? No, more like a solution. Remember that case against him for trying to blow up Paul's car? The attempted murder charge? Yeah, that, that was dropped. Not anymore, thanks to me. And how did you manage to do that? I'll fill you in, but first confirm this. If he goes to jail, he loses all visitation, correct? Probably. Attempted murder is a serious charge, and it's not like Johnny spent years with Craig. No, barely knows him. That's true. So a judge probably won't force you to take Johnny for visitation at the prison. By the time Craig's out, Johnny will probably be old enough to make his own decisions. Good. That's good. Okay, hold it. I think you're going about this all the wrong way. You're spending so much time worrying about Craig that you're actually losing valuable quality time with Johnny yourself. I want Craig out of the picture, once and for all. Is this fight about Johnny or your anger with Craig? Of course. It's about Johnny, Tom. It's about what I promised his mother. His mother didn't want Craig in Johnny's life. She wanted me to give Johnny a good home and a good life. And you're going to achieve this by teaching him to hate Craig. I'm not doing that. Yeah, Dusty, that's what you're doing. I mean, it doesn't really matter what you say. Your actions will prove to Johnny that you hate Craig, and he, in turn, will hate him to please you. Now, in the end, when he grows up and understands what you've cost him, he's going to hate you. And that is when Katie told me that Craig set me up. He he faked Spencer's murder. He had all this evidence against me. I thought I was going to spend the rest of my life in jail for something that I did not do. Then he offered to make it all go away. Katie? Craig told Katie that, that he'd get me off if she'd be his alibi. Katie, is that true? I don't know if it's all right. You can tell the truth. Nothing's going to happen. Maybe we need to go at this from a different angle. Katie, honey, why don't you just forget about what Craig did or didn't do to you and just tell me what he said. About what? About Paul Ryan. Did Craig ever tell you that he rigged the bomb that was in Paul Ryan's car? No, I'm a little thirsty. <coughs> Katie! No, I, I'm not stalling. I will tell you everything. All right, I will get you a glass of water. Katie's giving your statement. Honey, you know I can't comment on an ongoing investigation. Uh, can you give us a minute? Yeah. How you doing? I cannot believe that Craig would do something like this and drag Katie into it. So tell me how I can help. You can get your client out of here for one thing. I haven't got the statement from Katie yet, and if she sees Donna and Lump, she'll hold you. Hey, Jack! 
Johnny, look who's here. Your aunts, your uncles, and your other daddy. Hey, Angie. Yeah. What you been up to? Daddy took me to see the train. He did? It's cool. Come tell me about it. Why'd you bring him here? Well, Margo informed me that Katie might need my assistance. And since Katie adores Johnny and... Obviously, the feeling's mutual, so... You're using my son to keep Katie quiet. And you think I should cut this guy a break, no, Tom? No, I think we'd be better served if we left and let the police handle this. You're using him. He's five years old. I know how old he is. He's my son. We'll see. Don't do this. Your son's in the next room. Tom, you make a very good point. This really isn't the time or the place. And since I have no idea how long I'll be here... Fifteen to twenty sounds fine. And I have no idea you'd be here either. But since you are, if you'd like to take Johnny home with you, I think that would probably be I best. don't need your permission. We'll see. Uh, Johnny, 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 you want to go wait outside with your dad? Can you guys give us a minute? I want to finish up with Katie. I'm done. Oh, come on, Katie. No, I'm sorry. I can't do this. I just, I can't. Katie. What just happened? It appears Katie didn't have as much to say as we all anticipated. Well, even if Katie doesn't want to talk, what about Brad's statement? She told him everything Craig did. No, it's hearsay. It won't stand up in court. Hey, why don't we get Johnny out of here? There's no place for a little boy to be. A little boy that I love so much. Give me one for the road. Oh, my gosh, you're such a big guy. I'll see you soon, okay? Ugh. Come on, let's go. So you came in to tell the truth, right? To uh, get Katie off the hook? Well, from what I heard, it doesn't seem that Katie needs getting off the hook. So I guess we're both just sticking to our stories, whether you like it or not. I love family gatherings. Let's do it again soon. But next time, let me pick the place. Just tell me that Craig and Donovan didn't get into it in the parking lot. Uh, thankfully, no, but there's always tomorrow. <sighs> Katie, what's going to go through with it if I just had a minute more with yeah, her? We would have gotten the statement, but Craig would have left it at that. Sooner or later, he'd find another way to make Katie change her story. Your brother's a jerk. I know, I've called No offense. Tonight, I've called him. So, once again, Craig gets off free and clear. Yeah. Well, Dusty's not going to let up. You know, you're right about that. That poor little boy is caught in the crossfire. God help Johnny now.